For many, achieving a defined six-pack is a major fitness goal. You hit the gym regularly, crank out countless crunches, but those sculpted abs remain elusive. Don't despair, here in this video we will unveil the eight main reasons why your abs might be hiding and how to finally get them to show off all their hard work. But before starting the video, be sure to smash the like button and subscribe to never miss out on any of our videos. Number 8. Sleep for Success Sleep is crucial for muscle growth and repair. During sleep, your body releases growth hormone, which plays a key role in building and repairing muscle tissue, including your abs. Additionally, sleep helps regulate cortisol levels, the stress hormone that can lead to increased belly fat storage. Aim for 7 to 8 hours of quality sleep each night to optimize your body's ability to build and define your abs. To improve your sleep quality and create a sleep routine that supports your fitness goals, establish a consistent sleep schedule, unwind before bed with calming activities, optimize your sleep environment for darkness, quiet coolness and comfort, limit caffeine and alcohol intake, and get regular exercise, but avoid strenuous activity too close to bedtime. Number 7. Stress can be a belly fat villain. Chronic stress can wreak havoc on your health in many ways, and one of those is by promoting fat storage, particularly around the abdomen. This is due to the stress hormone cortisol. When cortisol levels are elevated, your body breaks down muscle tissue and stores more fat, especially visceral fat, the deep fat around your organs that's linked to a number of health risks. To combat this, prioritize stress management techniques like meditation, yoga, deep breathing exercises, or spending time in nature. Reducing stress can help keep your cortisol levels in check and create a more favorable environment for fat loss and muscle building. Managing chronic stress is crucial for achieving a tone midsection and overall health. To effectively combat stress, incorporate some lifestyle changes into your routine. Limit caffeine and alcohol intake as excessive amounts can worsen anxiety and disrupt sleep. Prioritize social connections by making time for supportive friends and family. Engaging in hobbies you enjoy, whether it's reading, listening to music, spending time outdoors, or pursuing creative outlets is a great way to de-stress and recharge. Creating a relaxing bedtime routine and ensuring good sleep hygiene will further promote stress management and allow your body to recover and rebuild muscle tissue. Number 6. Genetics play a role. Everyone's body is built differently and genetics play a significant role in how we store fat. Some people naturally tend to store more fat in their midsection while others may be more prone to accumulate fat in their legs or hips. This doesn't mean you can't achieve a toned core, but it might require a bit more dedication in terms of diet and exercise. If you got a higher genetic predisposition for storing fat in your midsection, you might need to maintain a slightly lower body fat percentage to see the same level of abdominal definition as someone with a different genetic makeup. The good news is that genetics aren't the sole dictator of your physique. Muscle can be built and fat can be lost regardless of your genetic background. By following a targeted exercise routine, maintaining a healthy diet, and prioritizing lifestyle factors that influence body composition, you can still achieve a strong and defined core, even if your genetics present a bit more of a challenge. Number 5. Don't neglect rest and recovery. Building muscle is a process that breaks down muscle fibers in a controlled manner through exercise and then repairs and rebuilds those fibers stronger during rest and recovery. Overtraining your abs can actually hinder progress by not allowing your muscles sufficient time to repair. Aim for two to three dedicated core workouts per week, with rest days in between to allow your muscles to recover and rebuild. Here are some additional tips to optimize your recovery process. To optimize your recovery and create a strong foundation for building and defining your abs, prioritize quality sleep, listen to your body, focus on proper form during exercise, and incorporate active recovery on rest days. Aim for seven to eight hours of sleep each night. Establishing a consistent sleep schedule, unwinding before bed with calming activities, optimizing your sleep environment, limiting caffeine and alcohol intake, and getting regular exercise, but avoiding strenuous activity too close to bedtime, can all significantly improve your sleep quality. Pay attention to how your abs feel. If you're experiencing persistent soreness or pain, it's a sign you might be overdoing it. Take a rest day or reduce the intensity of your workouts. Using proper form during core exercises ensures you're targeting the intended muscles and reduces the risk of injury. Don't sacrifice form for more weight or reps. On rest days, engage in low-impact activities like walking, yoga, or light cardio to promote blood flow and aid in muscle recovery. Number 4. Diet is king. Abs can't be outtrained by a poor diet. You can't crunch your way through a layer of belly fat. To achieve a defined midsection, you need to be in a calorie deficit, burning more calories than you consume, and focus on eating a diet rich in whole, unprocessed foods. Here's a breakdown of the essential dietary components for building strong abs. 
For building a strong and defined core, you need to provide your body with the proper nutrients to fuel your workouts, support muscle recovery, and create an environment for muscle growth. Lean protein, complex carbohydrates, and healthy fats are all essential components of a core-building diet. Lean protein sources like chicken, fish, beans, lentils, and tofu provide the building blocks for muscle tissue repair and growth. Complex carbohydrates from whole grains like brown rice, quinoa, oats, and whole wheat bread offer sustained energy to power your workouts. Healthy fats from avocados, nuts, seeds, olive oil, and fatty fish keep you feeling full, regulate hormones, and aid in nutrient absorption. Don't forget the power of fruits, vegetables, and whole grains. These nutrient-dense foods are packed with vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants that your body needs to function optimally and support overall health and muscle building. Number 3. Building muscle takes more than just reps. Just like any other muscle group, your abs need progressive overload to grow. This means gradually challenging your muscles with more weight, more reps, or more sets over time. Don't get stuck mindlessly doing hundreds of crunches with minimal resistance. There are several ways to incorporate progressive overload into your core workouts. You can increase the weight you're lifting by using weight plates, dumbbells, kettlebells, medicine balls, or weighted vests. Start with a weight that allows you to perform 8 to 12 repetitions with good form and gradually increase the weight as you get stronger. If adding weight isn't an option, you can make your workouts more challenging by doing more repetitions or sets of each exercise. Aim for 3 to 4 sets of 8 to 12 repetitions per exercise. You can also shorten your rest periods between sets to increase the intensity of your workout. Finally, as you master the basic core exercises, try more challenging variations to target different muscle groups and keep your core engaged. Number 2. Target all your core muscles. While crunches are a core exercise that primarily target the rectus abdominis, a six-pack muscle on the front of your abdomen. For a strong and functional core, you need to hit all the major muscle groups that make up your core. The rectus abdominis, flexion, obliques, rotation and side bending, and transverse abdominis, TVA, stability and support. To achieve this, incorporate a variety of exercises into your core routine, targeting each muscle group. Planks, leg raises, and hollow body holds work the rectus abdominis. Russian twists, side planks, and bicycle crunches target the obliques. Dead bugs, bird dogs, and palaf presses engage the TVA. Don't forget compound exercises like squats, deadlifts, and overhead presses, which also engage your core as stabilizers. Number 1. Body fat percentage is the key. Abs are muscles, and muscles need to be revealed by a low body fat percentage. This can vary depending on sex, genetics, and age. In general, however, a healthy body fat percentage range for men to see abdominal definition is around 10 to 15 percent, and for women, it's around 18 to 25 percent. Spot reduction is a myth, you can't target fat loss in just your abs. Create a calorie deficit through diet and exercise to lose fat overall. To determine a safe and effective body fat percentage range for you, consult with a doctor or certified personal trainer. They can consider your individual factors and health history to provide personalized guidance. Thank you guys for watching. If you want more videos like this, make sure to like the video and hit the subscribe button and we'll see you in the next video.